I'm Eric Ruderman. I'm coming to you from the uh, ACR meeting in Washington, D.C. And I want to tell you the thing that's impressed me most at this meeting has been a number of new abstracts on clinical trials with uh, treatments with new mechanisms of action in psoriatic arthritis. Um, we've had TNF inhibitors, we've had IL-17 inhibitors in a few year, for the few years, we've had a Premalast, and now all of a sudden there's a whole host of new drugs coming online. We saw two abstracts at this meeting um, with tofacitinib, a drug that we use in rheumatoid arthritis, uh, two large trials, one in DMARD uh, failures and one in TNF failures with psoriatic arthritis, both very successful uh, and very exciting to give us another option in that disease. Uh, for both the skin and the joint manifestations. We saw a trial with abatacept, uh, another drug we use in rheumatoid arthritis. This was the first large phase three trial in psoriatic arthritis. Um, not quite as effective, but a successful drug, and it'll give us another alternative. And then we saw a hint of some things to come. We saw a phase two trial with guzelcomab, which is a monoclonal antibody targeting IL-23 specifically. The dermatologists are very excited about IL-23 inhibitors uh, because of their tr tremendous efficacy for psoriasis. This was the first phase two trial of psoriatic arthritis, and it also was quite good for both the joint and the skin disease. Uh, we'll see where all of these goes, but I'm very excited that uh, in the world of psoriatic arthritis, we're beginning to have a number of options, uh, just like in rheumatoid arthritis, and recognizing that patients uh, respond heterogeneously to different drugs, it's really nice to have a lot of alternatives. Uh, if you want more information on these and any other abstracts presented to the meeting, go to roomnow.com.